everyone, and thanks for joining me today as we take a look at an exciting new app called ViewChat. ViewChat allows you to easily share files, communicate, and collaborate together. Now this app, in my opinion, is truly revolutionary for a mobile device. There are lots of conferencing tools, web conferencing tools that you can use from your laptop or your desktop, but not really a great app that you can communicate and collaborate on the iPad. Here we are in ViewChat in our main home screen, and what I'd like to do is just show you some of the features on the left-hand side toolbar. Up at the top, we have a little chat bubble. Once we tap on that, our profile will appear. Here, you can add a picture, set your username. What makes ViewChat really unique though is that it gives everyone a unique QR code. If we go ahead and take a look at the very bottom center of this little chat screen, we have chats. And here really is where we can see all of the different people that are in our chat list. This is where we can make our groups. This is also where we can control and manage our groups as well. So if I wanna go ahead and I want to delete out any of my members, I can. If I wanna block somebody, I have that option as well. Next, if we come over to our members section, here again, we can see all of the different people in our chat list, this time by alphabetical order. And if I want, I can go ahead and I can favorite one of my groups or one of my members that I know these are people that I talk to on a regular basis. Or if I want, I can come over to the plus sign and I can add a new member, a new group, I can invite people in, I can get access to my QR code, or I can go ahead and scan to connect to another member. The next feature I'd like to show you is the little compass looking icon, and this will bring up web pages. Here I can go ahead and I can search any web pages. I can use Google or up over here I have my search bar. I can go ahead and type in something completely different as well. Or if I want, I can use the Google search feature which is also available to me. A couple other options I have over here, you'll notice over here there's a little cloud icon. I can go ahead and I can download a file. If I want to be able though to annotate on my web page, I have to go ahead and save it to a PDF. I can add it to a PDF that already exists, or I can save it as a new file. Or if I want, I have the option to mail the link out to somebody else. The next feature in our toolbar is the cloud icon. This allows me to connect any of my cloud accounts to ViewChat so that I can send documents to or bring documents from the cloud that I want to collaborate on. I can also choose to email out items or I can go ahead and just create a blank new screen to go ahead and directly start typing within ViewChat. When I'm done, what I absolutely love about this app is I can tap on the staple icon and I can go ahead and I can merge my files. Even if I'm not collaborating or communicating with anyone, but I have a group of PDF files or documents I wanna merge into one, ViewChat is a great option for being able to do that. Now that I'm here and I understand all of my different tools, I'm ready to begin communicating and collaborating with a group. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and create a new group. I'm going to come down to the bottom of my chat window towards the right and tap on members. Here, I'm going to tap the plus sign and I'm going to do a new group. I'm going to call my group View Chat Demo. I'm going to go ahead and invite one of the developers. I'm gonna tap done, and my group has now been created. It now tells me that we're both online so that I know everyone is active, and I have over here the option to make a video call or a phone call. Now, you can have up to four people in a video call, and you can have up to 20 people in a voice call, and then there's an unlimited amount of people you can have in your chat. So for purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to do a simple chat. So I'm going to come over here to my chat window, I'm going to come over, I'm in my group, and you can see it's automatically sent everyone a message saying, hello everyone, welcome to the group. So here you can see in the chat, I have me and one of the developers, and they have just sent me one of the files, which is the quick start guide. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tap on it, and as you can see, it's going to download and it will open up shortly. So here I can see, this is the guide he just sent me. This is the document that we are going to be collaborating on. And now we can begin using the different features of the app. 
So if this is the document we're going to be collaborating on, you will notice as soon as the document opened up at the top right, I have some different tools that are available to me. One of the most useful tools is going to be the first one, which is the annotation toolbar. Again, you can see it pops up another toolbar on the middle left hand side and you can see I can now begin. So one of the most useful tools that you can see that I have over here is going to be the pencil feature. So if I tap on this, I can now begin sort of circling different items that we want to talk about. If I want to go ahead and send this annotation back to the user, all I have to do is tap on this little blue and yellow plain looking arrow and say send current view. I have a couple options as well. Do I want to send just the one page, which yes I do, and what do I want my annotations to look like? Do I want to embed them so that they are just editable and that they can keep you know, annotating and adding on? Do I want to flatten them so that they are not able to change them? Or do I just want to send a summary of the annotations or do I want to just send the original file? Once I've decided what it is I want to do, I'm going to choose to flatten in this case and then I can go ahead and send. And now here they can go ahead and they will get a copy of the document and the annotations that I have just made. There's a couple other features here available in the toolbar. I have over here a little text icon. I can go ahead and add a little sticky note. As you can see, I have a lot of options for what I can do with this in terms of, you know, the different things that I can put in. I've got some little stickies. I've got, you know, some little pre-made stamps that I can do. I can change the color. And then I have that, and if I want to delete it, I can just come over here and just click delete. I also have the option to highlight different items on my document. Um, I can go ahead and add an image in. From I can open up my camera or go straight to my photo library. If I want to undo any of the annotations, I have my eraser, and then I just have my undo button and so on. So these are some of the main features which make it really great as a collaboration tool with multiple people. Now as an educator what I really like is imagine if all my students are in their groups and they're annotating and they're working collaboratively, I can actually be in each of those chats and sort of go back and forth between what it is that I am doing. So as you can see, another great feature about ViewChat is not only can you just send static images and web pages, you can also send media. So in this case, another member of my group is going to go ahead and send me a video and I'll be able to play it. So let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and now it will be ready for me to go ahead and play. So you can see here the video is now playing, I'm able to watch it. And again, just another really great feature about how it can be used. Um, another thing you'll notice over here on my videos, if I go ahead and I hold it down, I can choose to share the video and I can choose to forward it or I can choose to email. Or if I like, I can go ahead and hold it down and another option that appears is for me to save it. So I can go ahead and it saves directly to my camera roll. This is another really great way to have kids share media if they are working on collaborating on a project, if they've got music files, video files, being able to transfer media files back and forth from your iPad, really just such a great option, all while being able to keep the conversation going. So next what I'd like to show you is how we can go ahead and share an annotated web page. So I have my search, I'm gonna go ahead, come over to the search bar. Let's just say I'm gonna go ahead and search. We have the great EdTech Teacher iPad Summit coming up in San Diego. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and see what that is all about. And I'm gonna go ahead and search it. I can now go ahead and take a look at this website. Now, one of the things you wanna take note of is that if you wanna annotate on a web page, you have to convert it over to a PDF first. So we just come on up over here to a PDF and we can just go ahead and we can save it. And now my page has become a PDF. Now that it's a PDF, I can go ahead and annotate on it. You'll see my toolbar appears right up over here. And I can go ahead and share this information with my group members. So over here, I can go ahead and tell them we've got some great new conference strands that are taking place and I hope to see you there. So one of the other great things you can see is ViewChat also works very, very well on the iPhone as well. So again, on the go, easy mobile communication and collaboration really is just becoming one of my favorite new apps. 
So over here, if I have this image, look again, I've got tons of options. I can email it, I can save it, I can copy it, and best of all, I can annotate right on it, and I can go ahead and share my thoughts. This time, let's go ahead and do a little sticky note, and let's go ahead and share. This is great. And now that note is now there. I can annotate it, he knows, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it back. So again, this time though, I'm, because my annotation needs to be tapped on, I'm gonna have to keep them embedded. That way, they, my partner will be able to go ahead and take a look at this photo and the annotations that I have sent. Now, one of the things we wanna take a look at is when we're done with all of this, if we wanna save it, send it out, check for understanding if a teacher is asking for it, what can we do with this? So again, one of my favorite features and what I think is really unique about ViewChat is if we go over here to back to our toolbar, we can see right below the T there is a little stapler icon. When I tap on that, it gives me a few options for what I can do. So in this case, what I'm going to want to do is merge the files into one PDF so that I can keep a record of what it is we talked about. If I come down in here where it says my files, it shows me the different tabs that I had open. So I can go ahead and select which of the items I want to merge. Perhaps I don't want to keep everything that we talked about and collaborated on, but I definitely want to keep my eye on that upcoming conference. And I definitely want to keep this view chat quick start guide so that I can begin using this fantastic new app. I'm going to go ahead and tap on merge. I'm going to give my book a title. I'm going to save and it's going to go ahead and merge those PDFs for me into one. Again, a truly revolutionary feature for the iPad. My PDF is ready. I can go ahead, I can open it, and there my document is all merged together into one.